Hi everyone, I'm Tom Schuster and I'm going to show you an app I created over the past few days called SQLize UI. So I thought of this app when I started realizing when you're designing a database um, for SQL, you usually spend some time you know, whiteboarding it, maybe writing it down on paper or using some sort of program to map it out. And then when you're going to use it in SQLize, you have to go out and rewrite it in SQLize using a completely different logic. And it takes some time and maybe sometimes you'd want to save some models and come back to it. So I created a GUI which allows you to go ahead and create your database model here and then export your SQLize file. So um, starting out, uh, this is all made in React, Redux, and then there's Node and Express on the back end. So uh, you can go ahead and name your model. So let's create a person model right there. Um, you can create it, then you can come back here, save it, delete it. Um, and then let's say you have your person model here again. You can add fields in. So here you go and you add a field. You can add your field name, so we can say name choose a data type, we have a string. You're going to have some more options. So here you have a lot of the um, SQL options that are used in um, SQLize. You know, you have the not null, you want, maybe you want to make it unique, you can do all sorts of validation, default values, add more here. There's also um, a bunch of validation added in here, so you, um, let's say we add this, try to add this field right now, it will tell us that fields must have a name. So we put a name in, okay, this is um, legs, I don't know. Um, we create this and every field must have a data type. Okay, so we put a data type in as an integer. And you get the idea, we have this, now we can create another thing. And there you have your models, you can go back and forth and edit them. You can also um, create templates for the model configuration. So here you can put a custom table name that will go into the database. Um, for the instance methods for associations, you can specify what you want the singular and plural to be, so you can prevent Pokemon from being turned into Pokemons because that's not correct. So you can just you know lock it in as Pokemon there if you wanted to do that. And you can open up the template areas for your hook methods, getter methods, instant methods, and some other attributes here. Um, so I have a template made right here. So we have a person. Um, it has a name and it has an email. So we have the is email validation right there. We have legs as well. Between zero and four legs is a valid number for that one. We have ice cream, dogs, and categories. Another cool thing is you can create um, composite unique keys. So let's say you wanted to put a unique constraint on dogs so that they don't have to have a unique birthday or a unique um, name, but no two dogs can have the same birthday and same name, which is a pretty weird rule, but you can do that if you wanted to just by giving the same unique key name right there. Um, and now that we have our whole model, um, built out, you can just go ahead and you click download models. And what we've done is we have created a zip file, which when we open it right here, has all of our SQLized models defined right here. So it, it comes included with our like instantiating the database um, with each model right there. You see we have our space for running getter methods. We have singular plural, cat cats for category, dog, we have our unique composite key there, ice cream, and then um, the person and the index file where you import them all, you can define your associations and then send them right along for syncing the database or whatever else you want to do. Um, yeah, so one thing that I wanted to do that I wasn't able to do is I wanted to um, incorporate perhaps when you're writing these configuration things, you know, it'd be cool if you could just have an inline code editor for writing the hooks. And I didn't have time to do that because I only had you know, four days to work on this, but I did um, figure out how to get into React um, in an ace code editor. So this is, you know, a JavaScript editor right here, which I'd like to incorporate into writing the hooks right here. So you could do a function and it does all the syntax highlighting and whatnot. Um, so that's something I want to incorporate. Another thing I think would be cool is if you um, upload it to, you could upload it directly to GitHub to a GitHub repository or maybe s send it by email or I don't know, paste it to, post it to Facebook to show everyone the really cool SQLized model that you've built. That might be cool. Um, and uh, so one challenge that I um, ran into was when you're um, trying to, I w obviously the request for the download was sent through an Ajax post request, but you can't get files back through an Ajax request. So what I had to do was I had to um, create the file through the post request and then basically um, would send a response with a unique key for that file name, and then it would follow up with a in-browser download gets, get request, which would download the 
zip file without interact interrupting the user experience. So um, I plan to use this moving forward. I hope that everyone else can find some use for this. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs>